Good morning, all of you. In today's session, we are going to start with the 10th Standard Chemistry and Physics, Unit 9, Electrical Current, Series number 12 is going to be discussed. In the earlier sessions, we completed what is mean by electrical current, how it can be measured, what is the use of a digital multimeter, and how uh, potential difference is measured, what is mean by electromotive force, Ohm's law, and it's a daily life application, what is resistance and uh, how it can be distinguished from resistivity and uh, how can we measure what are the uh, influencing factors and the resistance all these topics were discussed in the earlier session now we entered into series number 12 where we are going to discuss about the concept called when we are going to connect bulbs in a series and also in the parallel line how they show the impact on the electrical current and also potential difference. That activity is going to be performed in today's session. In addition to this one, unit number one to unit number eight, entire detailed explanation available on the channel called the World of Competitive Chemistry. Let us enter into our today's concept, series number 12 of unit nine, electrical current. Let us see. So this is a concept learning regarding this electrical circuit, how circuit is made. A closed path created by connecting wires through the battery along with the elect uh, electrons can flow is called an electrical circuit. Okay, electrical circuit denotes what a connecting wires through the battery. So here is a connecting conducting wire is there and battery is there and the, those are connected with a bulb. So there is a circle. So complete SPR is made. Hence we can say this is called a circuit. Uh, for this purpose, we need some kind of materials like uh, battery is needed of exact voltage and it's a positive and negative terminals are connected with the conducting wire through which electrons are passing and the latter they are connected with the bulb where uh, illumination of the bulb is possible this is a complete description for the electrical circuit and electrical circuit can be uh, closed and opened by the device called a switch switch used to connect in order to flow the electrons in a regular path so that illumination of bulb is possible if you are opening this switch that means a circuit got breaked so that bulb switching off is possible that is the mechanism involved in illumination of the lamp at home how can we switch on and switch off this one here switch on is possible by uh, connecting a circuit and a switch off is possible by opening the circuit by breaking the circuit so in this manner here electrical circuit is made where the closed path will be there and the connecting wires used to uh, connect with the battery so that of electrons in the circuit must be complete uh, with the no gaps left between gaps should not be present otherwise if any gap is there that denotes what a circuit will be break so that illumination of lamp may not be possible and the simplest example will be a switchboard right usually a gap is provided Provided by the electrical circuit by using switch which used to open and close the circuit so that uh, switch on and switch off of the bulb is possible in the same manner. Now here electrical circuit is made in two different possibilities one either in the series form and any there is in the parallel form series in the sense one by one connection is possible one attached with any other any other attached with any other this is uh, regarded as a continuous framework. Whereas parallel framework with respect to battery, one of the wire is connected with one bulb and the second wire with second bulb, third with the third bulb. In this manner, different parallel circuits were drawn in the single device, single electronic device. In both the ways, it is possible to connect uh, with the battery to these electrical bulbs and how it could be the effective and what will be the consequences of this uh, series connection and also parallel connection we will discuss in detail and their corresponding activities are going to be performed in the session right circuit made by more than one kind of device called a components here circuit may not be completed with a single wire so each wire is there that is the simplest circuit but more than one circuit is also drawn in this manner so here the components which are used for the construction of such kind of devices we have to take a battery and more than one conducting wire and more than one illuminating bulbs are required for this activity right circuit may have more the more than one device called the components and receive electrical energy from the source source will be a battery which is the source of power 
these devices are commonly connected in a circuit either series or parallel two possibilities are there series are nothing but in the consecutive line manner parallel in the sense one by one in the a uh, uh, bunch of lines are connected with a different kind of bulbs in the same line so parallel all are drawing in a parallel lines so in this manner two possibilities are there let us discuss one by one first we are going to discuss about what is series kind of connection right when the components of circuit is are connected in a series a single path of flow of electrons between the terminus of battery and the generating uh, electrical socket here and a single path will be assigned it's in this manner where we are not going to connect multiple wires with the battery battery is connected with the positive and negative end of the conductor and that uh, conducting material connected to one bulb and uh, that uh, will be continued with one more conducting wire and connected with the bulb in this manner a series of connections are drawn here and all are moving in a single path unidirectional in nature you can scientifically say unidirectional in nature right so in this manner from this battery uh, electricity is discharged and the illumination of the bulb is possible in this series kind of circuit where current is flowing in a direction between two ends of the bulb two ends of the circuit now let us go with the parallel connection parallel connection uh, seems to be positive end and negative end of both the bulbs from the battery directly linking with the bulbs are possible in case of series one bulb with another any other bulb with another electric source is are directly connected to the battery and all are parallel with respect to each other so parallel itself it is a, is a, a what a, displaying how the lines are uh, a parallel Lines are connecting with the battery in the manner where a branch manner. In the similar way, here parallel lines are connected, and these parallel lines now connected to the electrical battery. This is a second kind of exemption we are going to draw in order to make the electrical circuit. Circuits are basically either series kind or parallel kind. In the series kind, unidirectional movement is possible, whereas in the parallel kind here, multiple origins and multiple pathways you can observe and the branching. so um that is going to split into various uh, paths here so that uh, clearly visible in this diagram now both the series and parallel connections have their own dis uh, distinctive characteristic we shall briefly study the circuit and the two type of connections here both are uh, individual to each other and having distinct distinctive properties so here uh, they are not exactly same whereas the voltage discharged from the series is not exactly similar to that of parallel circuit and both are easily distinguished with respect to each other in most probable way when we are going to take the battery uh, all the cells are connected in a series rather than in the parallel lines series kind of connection will be more effective compared to the parallel kind of connection so that will be the distinctive factor in order to um, in order to compare the efficient series and uh, as well as parallel circuits now take a different bulbs so we are going to perform activity 9 uh, activity 6 uh, it is the time for uh, performing the activity here here three different bulbs were taken and individual bulb resistant is going to be measured by the help of multimeter and uh, let us say r1 is the resistance of a first bulb and r2 will be a second and r3 will be assigned for the third bulb in this manner resistance of individual bulbs is measured by using the device multimeter after measuring their uh, resistance bond resistance containing bulbs to connected in a series which is provided in this diagram where circuit is made in a series because three bulbs are connected in a um, uh, what a, a continuous manner in the line manner one with any other any other with any other that will be extended and the two ends are now connected with the battery and here we have the device called a key what is the purpose of key that used to switch on and switch off and the battery is the power of the source that is uh, present here and uh, its strength strength of the battery discharging current will be denoted with i right electrical potential difference is measured for this kind of circuit which were drawn with the series of connection purpose of activity number 
how the efficient uh, conduct uh, conduction as well as the potentiated series after connecting and So we are going different. That will be measured by using the instrument called photometer. First, the meter voltage difference. Potential three volts bulb above potential difference measured individual bulbs. And uh, compare the potential difference of all these batteries, uh, which uh, with respect to their resistors. What do you notice from this? So the sum of the potential difference of the bulbs are equal to potential dif difference across the combination of resistors. So here the ultimate potential combined potential is assigned by taking the sum of all these V1, V2, V3. V1 is a, a respective potential of the individual uh, first bulb and V2 second, V3 third. By combining all these, you will get the finalized and uh, uh, complete potential which is originated from this entire circuit. So that is the combination of uh, that is the combination of individual three. That's the reason why this will be the higher value because we are taking sum of all the individual value. That's why ultimate potential will be the higher value when compared to the uh, respective uh, voltages of individual bulbs. And uh, along with the potential difference, we are going to measure another parameter called the strength of the current. Strength of the current denoted with I. And that is monitored by using the electronic device called ammeter in amperes. Right? So this is a device called ammeter where amperes of current, the strength of the current will be measured. That will be denoted with I. So that is also calculated. After calculating, and uh, what we are going to notice here, equivalent uh, resistance of the uh, series connection we are going to identify now. So series connection, how the resistance will be measured that we are going to study. Observe the figure number 17. When you observe this one here, three different bulbs are taken and uh, whose resistance, bulb one resistance taken as R1, second bulb R2, third bulb R3 respectively. And the strength of current flowing through the circuit will be I. Right. In this figure, the bulbs are shown in the resistors with the symbols. Resistors are provided here and their symbols R1, R2, R3 respectively. In a series connection of resistors, there is only one path for the flow of current. Always in the series, the current is flowing in the unidirectional. Only one direction is assigned for this one. Right. Hence, the current is in the circuit is equal to I because there is no splitting of current. Always current is moving in only one direction in the single path that is denoted as unidirectional in nature. That's the reason why it is complete. Complete flow of current is denoted with I here. Now, potential difference across the R1, resistor R1 is given as V1 is equal to IR1. This is in accordance with Ohm's law. V is equal to IR is called Ohm's law. V is the potential difference. I is the strength of current. R is the resistance of that material. So here first bulb is assigned with the potential difference V1 is equal to IR1. But the potential difference for uh, second uh, bulb you can assign V2 is equal to IR2. In the same manner V3 is equal to IR3. This is in accordance with Ohm's law. And R will be the R equivalent is the equivalent resistance of the combination of all these. So here we measured the individual uh, potential differences and uh, we are going to get the ultimate potential difference V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. In the similar manner, here individual resistance are measured that is denoted as R equivalent. R equivalent is equal to combination of all these. That means uh, uh, R1 plus R2 plus R3. How can we draw this? Let us see. What do you mean by equivalent resistance? If the current drawn by the resistor equal to current drawn by the combination of individual resistors which are present in the series of circuit, provided the source of circuit is constant, source in the circuit is constant. Now we are applying the Ohm's law is equal to IR for V1, V2, V3, individual equations I are equivalents. I is nothing but strength of current and R is the 
resistance of that particular material. I R equivalent is equal to I R one plus I R two plus I R three were taken. Now R equivalent. So in all the cases, I remains constant, right? That's why we can take R equivalent is equal to R one plus R two plus R three. These are the variables. Now just like the potential difference uh, here also, R equivalent is given by R one plus R two plus R three. That's why the value will be higher. R, R equivalent value will be higher. Now it can be taken in this manner. R equivalent is nothing but we are going to uh, combine all uh, three resistors so that he, that will become R equivalent shown in the figure eighteen. From the above equation, you can conclude that some of the individual resistance exactly is equal to the equivalent resistance. We are combining all those. The after combination, R equivalent value will become higher. What happens when uh, one of the resistor in the series breaks down? If one of the resistor is not working, that uh, that is not in a working condition, what could be the consequence of that one? When one of the resistor in the series breaks down, the service uh, circuit becomes open and the flow of current uh, will not be taking place. Yeah. When all connected in a series and all are, uh, there is a continuity of the flow of filler from then only here passage of current is possible. Circuit will be in a perfect manner to illuminate the bulbs so that here complete process is possible. One of the resistance uh, resistor is not working. In that case, what happens? The circuit will be broken so that here current passage may not be possible and the entire uh, system is not illuminated because opening or breaking of the circuit is possible. Right. By this, we completed uh, how the electrical circuit was made and how many types are there and uh, what happens if uh, circuit made in the series kind of form and how effective it will be in order to get the high efficient potential difference. By this, we completed the session. Hope this will be helpful for your preparation. Thank you very much for your consistent listening. Thank you one and all.